Hello everyone and welcome to yet another day. It's Wednesday uh, and we are here live on Flymo's Facebook page. How to get kids gardening with the skinny jean gardener. What a beautiful day. Like what an amazing day. I want to say before we really get into today, um, thank you so much to everyone. Everyone that shared, got involved, phone called uh, for the last two days. Yesterday we had 53,000, 53,000 people, 53,000 people watch uh, the stream, uh, which is awesome. Hopefully loads of you are getting kids gardening. Um, before I really go into anything else, Olive is supposed to be here. Um, I don't know where she is, probably getting her makeup done in the trailer. S seems that she's got <laughs> quite a big fan club. Um, but she will be here very soon. Um, look, if you can do me a favour, share it to as many people as possible, um, this stream. Hopefully throughout the day, people will watch it, people will get involved uh, and get outside in the sunshine. Now, this is the biggest thing. Yesterday, uh, we were out in the sun, down in the end of the garden, uh, and me and I were playing quite a bit. One of the things that happened yesterday was I got a little bit burnt. And this is one of the things that I thought I'd start the show with today. I'm massively about getting kids out in the garden. But one of the big things and one of the things that, that you know, I really wanted to to talk about this year was, I'm just sharing it to my page, um, was the importance of sunscreen. I really think that sunscreen is the most important thing that we should be thinking about. Even though, like, it's, it's like April, almost April. You wouldn't expect to get burnt out in it. It's still a little bit chilly, but you wouldn't expect to get burnt. And I got a little bit burnt. I should know better. And one of the things I want to start today's stream with was, one, to say thank you, obviously, but also to say, look, if you're outside with the kids, sun cream, get it on. No matter how cold it is, you're still going to get burnt. I've got a little bit burnt, a little bit burnt. I should know better. Uh, and that was one of the things, that was one of the campaigns I was going to look into for this year. Other things have overshadowed it at the moment, but I just think it's really, really important for us um, to remember that, guys. So make sure you do that. Now today we are talking, hang on a second, is, she, is it? I don't know. She might be coming in a second. Today we are talking, everyone, about seed markers. Now at the start of the week, if you've not checked it out, we talked about sowing our seeds in the three different ways. If you remember the three different ways, we'll test Olive in a minute. Um, and then... Uh, yesterday, what did we do yesterday? We did uh, allotments, like different sized allotments. Today I want to talk about marking up your seeds. Now I'll tell you why. And um, By the way, you can call in at any time um, and we can chat. And also uh, you can put some comments in. I'll make sure I pop and see them. Essex allotments in the house. Yo, 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 what's happening? Exciting times. I'm pumped for today. Um, seed markers are really, really important. If you're going to be sowing something, then you need to know what it is. Now the reason that I think this is so important is because last year... Uh, me and Olive, we sowed some pumpkin seeds. We sowed different sorts of pumpkin seeds. One was supposed to be a giant pumpkin. Like a giant pumpkin. I was so excited. So excited. Um, and then throughout the season, we kept watching it grow and it grew and it grew. And Halloween was coming. So a bit of pressure from Dad. A little bit of pressure from Dad. It got to about that big. Like, literally a hand size. And then nothing happened. And every day we'd come outside and Oliver was like, Dad, what... what we shouldn't say it like this. Dad, why Why is this not... What's going on? Why, why is this not going on? I was like, it will. It will grow. Don't worry. Turns out, everyone, it was... Orna no, I never can say this word. Ornamental. Ornamental. It was a pump... It was not a... It was never going to get bigger than that, basically. Because I hadn't labelled up my pumpkins. To be honest with you... It could have, it could have got mulled up into a runner bean plant, the luck I was having with it. So I think that labelling up your plants is so important. Now today on the show, today on the show, we are going to be doing seed markers. There's three different things. If you saw the, the list of stuff that you need, then uh, well done. You can do it with me and Olive. I have no idea where Olive is. She's going to be late for her own show. You can do the seed markers with me and Olive, or you can watch this back later on, or just do it. But basically, there's three different things you need. For the first one, you are going to need uh, some cardboard, some pencils, and some sellotape. That is it. Some cardboard, some pencils, and some sellotape. The great thing is, is today we are using just an old pizza box. So go to your recycling, grab out some old boxes, and... You'll be able to do this, make. 
One of the things at the moment is, I think I just heard today that they're not picking up the cycling, so we should have loads and loads of boxes uh, left over. So if you've got some boxes, you're going to need them. Uh, so that's for the first one. That's the simplest one we're going to be doing today. Next is the second make we're going to be doing. You're going to need some paper. You're going to need some pencils. You're going to need an old spoon. So a big spoon like that. What's that spoon called? Not a teaspoon, is it? It's a breakfast spoon. I'm not really sure. <laughs> can't remember what they're called. A big old spoon like that. Uh, and some PVA glue. So that's for the second make. And the final make is a little bit more difficult, a little bit more involved. You're going to need some stones. Now, I said stones. You need stones a little bit like that. Some smooth, large stones. Some paint or some pens. And then you also, if you've got any hanging about, doesn't really matter if you don't, but uh, this is yacht varnish, but any type of varnish will be great as well. If you've got that in the shed, you will be sorted. Uh, let's quickly see who's about. Um, Alex is here, Stuart's here, hello. Richard's here, hello, how are you doing? Put in the comments if you are gardening. Oh, Lisa's here, hello. Seed markers, bane of my life. Planted bulbs, I wrote on plastic labels, recycled with a Sharpie. Went to check them yesterday. <laughs> And the sun faded the Sharpie. Gone. No idea what colour, size, anything. It's a guessing game. That's almost exciting, right, Lisa? Like, it's, um... What's popping up out of the soil today? I don't know. We're going to find out later in the show. Made up on my own. Um, so, yeah. I think... I think we're going to have to start... I think we're going to have to start without Olive, I reckon. Because, you know... She's getting a bit of a must be getting a bit of a diva now. It is a skinny jean on the show, by the way, so it's not necessary to have her here. I know she's got a lot of fans on, on this stream. Uh, so look, if you've got, let's start with the first one. If you've got your cardboard box, which is great, well done. You're gonna need some scissors. Uh, be careful with these, everyone, parents. Some sellotape. We're gonna come to that later, and also. Your all important pencils, all right. By the way, call in anytime 07423 574520. If you want to call in, tell me how you're getting on, right? So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to oh, hey, right, we're going to cut out. Here she is. Hang on, everybody. Are you all right? How are you doing? Take your time. Do you want to say hello to everyone? <laughs> You're always shy. You're always shy at the start. We're talking about seed labels today, Olive. Are you going to help me make some? Yeah. Always quiet at the start. So get your pencils to begin with, and if you've got a cardboard box, have you got anything? Yeah, I might have pink. You might have pink. So the parents need to cut out all the kids very carefully, can, though, because we're I using scissors. Use, I can use them scissors. You could do, couldn't you? Yeah, because they're so tiny. They are little scissors, but they're very sharp, Olive. So look, we're going to yeah, cut. I used some yesterday. Pardon? I used some yesterday. Yeah, you've got to be careful though, haven't you? So come and sit down for me, baby. I will. Careful, come and sit down. Sit down. Well done. Right, so we're going to cut a square out of the back of the box. <laughs> well done. What colour is that? Pink. Pink colour, nice. Not this one. Well, careful. <laughs> so, we've got our square out of the box. I'm going to do a green now. And on, we're going to, because I need you to colour these in a second. And then, what we're going to do is we're going to cut like a label shape out of the um, cardboard, like that. And then, Olive, Olive, what you need to do. Is then we're going to write on there what we're growing. Now, what were we growing? Yes, um, what day is it today? Tuesday. What on Monday? What seed did we sow? Can you remember? Uh, Can you remember what we sowed? No, not that day. We did do some wildflowers. Come sit down, mate. Did we do some tomatoes? Yeah. Right. So, Olive, I need you to write tomatoes. Shall I write it for you, or do you want me to spell it for you? You. Um... I'll spell it to you, and then you write it. Ready? Yeah. T. Right, very neatly, remember? O. Oh. M. I remember. No, no wait, you missed an A. A. Ah. 
A T T yeah, that's done it. Yeah. O E S. I'm not sure if my phonics are bang on, so please do correct me if you can. Right, that says tomatoes, and then you've got to draw me a little picture of some tomatoes. Can you do that? So whatever you've sown over the past day, if you have sown any seeds. I'm going to do it now. Oh, that one's not working. Sharpie. Take your time, Mother. There's no rush, mate. Okay. Whatever you've sown over the last few days, or if you are going to sow anything. Hey? What do we have to do? We have to do a little tomato. Can you draw a little tomato? Have we got any yeah. red tomatoes? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have we got any red? There's a red, look. Oh, yeah, that looks like pinky red. Yeah, pinky red. So if you are sowing any seeds in the future, yeah, or have sown any, then this is a really simple and quick make that you can do just with some cardboard, some scissors, and some pencils, which hopefully you've got a few pencils and bits. So we're going to do three today, Olive, so you're doing a little tomato. Can you put the pencils there so I have a little go? Yeah. Okay. Can I borrow the pencils? Look. Why are you not letting me hold them? There, look. Before take we... few, take few. Oh, thanks so much. Um, I'll take the green one, I think. Okay. Because one of the things were beans, weren't they? Mm -hmm. So right yeah, out, yeah. that's fantastic. Beans, and then I'm going to draw beans. Now, this is really great. Keep, keep drawing Dad, the green one's not very good. Why don't you do some a wildflowers one? Oh, no, wildflowers. All right, careful, careful, because the camera's going everywhere. <laughs> wildflowers, mate. So, uh, this is a really great one. So, if you don't know what... Um, if you don't know what you're sowing yet, then fine. But if you do sow the seeds, it's a great one to do with kids because then you can draw exactly what all. is going to be grown. How do you write all? Wildflowers. So, no. What? W, I, I, L, L. Don't don't stand on here, mate. L. Can you sit down for me? I done L. Come sit down. There. Put these pencils down. No one's stealing these pencils. I you. want. I'll hold it. Okay. L. La, I don't la. Duh. La. Oh. Anybody who's watching this. What? Um, what? Eh. R. Sir. Oh, my ass up. Just squeeze that in. And then can you do some little flowers around it for me? Um, let's say hello to some people. Uh, Lynn Lambourne's here. Say hello to Lynn. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, who else we've got? Uh, Lisa, yeah. Richard, round of applause for Olive. It's the Olive Gardening Show, they're saying, Olive. Oh. Uh, Linda says hello with Jacob. Jacob's oh. watching. Say hello to Jacob. Hi, hello, Jacob. Jacob. Uh, and Sarah's watching. Say hello to Sarah. Who's Sarah? Sarah. Who's Sarah? Flymo Sarah. Um, so yeah, look, we've got beans, you've got tomatoes, wildflowers as well. Yeah. Then what we do really... Done two flowers. Well done, that's brilliant. Then what we do really easily is we get some sellotape, Olive. And then we spread the sellotape over the labels. Mm. Right? Yeah. Do you know what this does, Olive? No. This gives it a little bit of a protective layer. We have well, to do it on both sides. On there. You what? Why have they got pizzas on Don't do that, babe. Pizzas? Yeah. Oh, that's because it is a, from a pizza box, so we're reusing cardboard. Is yeah. that a good idea? Yeah. Yeah? Careful the, the cables, Oz. So, oh, if, you're doing this, if you're doing this right now, let me know in the comments. Can I have some green? Yeah, you can carry on coming. We're gonna do, have... We've got three others to do today. Or you can even phone in and tell me what you're doing. If you've been doing gardening with the children, or if the kids want to call in, tell us what you've been up to. That'd be fantastic. We'd love to hear from people, wouldn't we, Olive? Yeah, I would love to hear from Jacob. Oh, Jacob. If you want to call in, Jacob, call in now. So there we go. You could do the sellotape on the back as well. Basically, it gives it like a little protective layer, almost like you're laminating these, these uh, labels. You can pop them into soil then you'll know what you're growing. They are almost better than uh, what Lisa was saying with the... Um... Strawberries? No, she she wrote on, you know, like the little plastic labels you can get with a pen and the sun shined on it and it faded them away so she didn't know what she was growing. 
It's got loads of flowers popping up, you don't know what they are. Uh, this is almost better than that, because, do you think? Recyclable, isn't it? We reuse and cardboard. Um, so that's the first one, really simple, really easy to do. Olive, you carry on doing a little bit of drawing. If you're doing this, comment, let me know, or even phone in and tell me. The phone line's open, 07 4235 574 520. Olive's doing a bit of drawing. That's good. <laughs> Uh, Sam's watching. Hi, will we plant today? Sam? Mummy. Mummy's watching. When? She's watching on the on the camera. My mummy. Your mum. Where's the bubbles? What bubbles? Oh, you see some bubbles on the screen. Uh, Vicky says, uh, Hi, we'll be planting today. Oh, that's no bubbles. Uh, gardening and saving the planet all in one show. That's what we're all about, oh, isn't it, Olive? Who's doing bubbles then? Where are these bubbles coming no, from? No, I think they're them. What are they? Them little screw things. Oh, it's like bouncing off the screen, is it? Right, careful, don't jump on that, mate. Right, so that's the first one. Olive, can you put... Dad, these two. That's great, we're going to do them We'll do them after the show, alright? We've got a lot to get through. Right, pop them bits back in the cardboard bits in that box for me. We'll come to them later on. So that's the first one. Uh, that is so simple, it doesn't hardly cost a thing. Just need some pencils. But like I say, it's really good for then children to be able to know exactly what is going to be grown so they can actually get a visual. Jacob, get a visual. Jacob? Um, if you're still watching, can you phone in now? Jacob, if you're still watching, can you phone in the show 07423 574520, okay? Right now. Right, all right, mate. A bit demanding, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> right, so let's, shall we move on to the next one, Olive? Yeah. If what? Jacob calls, what about if Jacob calls? If Jacob calls, we'll stop everything. To speak to Jacob. Yeah. All right. Nice one. Right. Next, we are doing now. Olive, do you remember this one? We did this one, didn't we? In the book. Oh. So oh my God. Are you alright? Yeah. Right. No leaning on this table, please, hun. All right. You still leaning. You still leaning, hun. You still leaning on it. Still leaning on it. Biscuit. Right, okay. Biscuit. Biscuit. Right. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Right. So, do you remember doing this one where we did? Yeah. Right. So what? Still, still leaning on the table, hun. No, oh, you still lean on... <laughs> but I need to lean on yeah, something. Not, no, don't lean. Right, just sit down for us. Sit down, I see. I there we... Okay, right. Just don't lean on the, t <laughs> the table. <laughs> yeah, Jacob, come on, cool. Great make. I will do that with the Jacob, school children. Please. Fantastic. Don't lean on the table. Right. Jacob? Yeah? Can you call him right, right, right now? There's a plea from Olive. Please call him. Right. Now, we're going to do the spoon one, Olive. You like this one? What's a spoon one? Remember we did this for the book? What spoon one? This one. You are in the book. Fuck it, it's here. Actually making this. Hang on. What is it? Look, hang on, it's in here, look. I can't believe I can't remember doing it. Mm. Look, we made seed Jacob markers. Might... It was an important Jacob part. Jacob might ring now. He might ring any Jacob, point. Jacob. Can't find it, it's in the book. still there. Right, right, right now. Yeah. Please ring. Please right ring. Right now. Okay, right. No lean on the table, remember. Right. Because um um because I just want to um say hello. Okay. Hello, hello. Right. How are you? <laughs> we are gonna need next for this next make, the second make we are doing. So this is gonna need a spoon. We're gonna need some PVA glue. With that. That's PVA glue. We're also going to need some paper, Olive. Don't lean on the table, honey. We need some paper. Duh. And we're also going to need them pencils Can back. I just use this? No, don't use a pen. I want to do something with Okay. It. So, for this one, make sure you use pencils and not pen, and that will become clearer later on in the make, okay? Um, so, what we need to do, Olive, to begin with, is give, give me that pen, mate. We don't need a pen. No, we're making lollipop. Oh, wicked. I love that lollipop. lollipop. Right, don't lean on the table, hun. I've got the... Yeah, anyone doing a anyone doing a count on that? No, you can say the number. Oh, 07 423 574 520 is the phone number. Is it Linda? Jacob Linda. might call in soon. Right. So for this make, we need the spoon. Then we're gonna draw round the spoon on the paper. Cut, should we cut round it or rip round it? Uh cut round it. Let's draw on it first, like. So, let me just show people. This is what you've done. 
you've drawn around the spoon. Then get the children. Olive, can you not lean on the table? Hundred times, hundred times now. Can you draw something in there that we're going to be growing? So can I'm you draw? I'm making my lollipop. Great lollipop. Can you draw a pumpkin in there for us? Orange, orange pumpkin. That's not orange. That's orange, mate. So once again, we're drawing what we're going to be growing. What's going to be at the end of, not the end of the rainbow, but end of the journey. So from that tiny seed all the way to that plant, that's what we're doing right now. So it gives the children I think an idea. Ring in the middle. What? Yeah. Okay, we'll get ready. Get so it gives children an idea of what they're going to be growing. And so, you, if you're doing a school thing, and you oh! can call him. Right, I'll let you. I'll let you talk to him. Put the headphones on. Hello. What's he saying? Hello. Hello. Who is it? Hello. What are you going to do? Hello, Jacob. Huh? Jacob. I'm going to do it. How are you? Um, hello. Hey Jacob, are you okay? <laughs> speak to him, Ronald, speak to him. Jacob, are you, are you okay? Yeah. What, are, what you are you doing? Yeah. What are you up to? Hmm? What are you up to? You're doing really well. I'm doing really well. Oh, have you done any seeds yet? I'm watching. I'm watching you. He's, he's watching us. Oh. <laughs> have I... you done any seeds yet? Yeah. Yeah. When? From your dad. From my dad. Oh. Where up? Where's the part up the garden? Yes, we must get compost. We must get compost. Yeah. 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 What have you What have you grown, Jacob? What are you going to be growing? Everything. Everything. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Everything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You'll be growing everything for the whole world. <laughs> and carrot. Oh. What else? Flowers. Flowers. Oh. Anything else? Crap. Crap. Have you been playing in the garden? Yeah. Where about at the garden? All the round. Oh. <laughs> Should we say see you later? Have you done any pumpkin seeds? Yeah? No. No? Have you um played with anything um C D? We want to watch. I'm, I'm going to watch you. Oh. Okay. You famous, are you? Yeah, I am. He said I'm famous. <laughs> bye, bye. 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 See you, mate. <laughs> are you all right? Yeah. If any uh, other school friends fancy calling in on the show, then uh, that would be great. Thanks, Jacob, for calling in. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, he's still there. He's still... oh. bye, bye, Jacob. Bye. He's still there. <laughs> bye, bye <mate>. Jacob. <laughs> we didn't cut him off. <laughs> if you've got any other friends that want to call in, Olive. Yeah. Then um, please make it. Am a... I? Yeah. If. If somebody else is watching, who yes. I want to be, who my best best friend Aria must be watching right now because yes. Jacob rung up. Now Aria's 
gonna probably ring up. Oh, right. Well, we'll see what happens. Let's just make it a, a phone in for you, mate. Um, right. Should we move on? So now we've got everyone. Wait, that's right. We'll come back. You can draw on there. We've got our pumpkin. That's all. This pumpkin on the piece of paper. Now you can either cut round or rip round this just inside the spoon line. Yeah, what if? Yeah. Jacob, can you see what I'm doing? So Olive's drawn around the spoon there. So we cut round that. This is a spoon and I'm going to do another part of it. Where's the spoon? Oh, I need that in a sec. So okay. that's what you've got now. Now we need Olive. Can I borrow the spoon back? So we need to just make sure that fits inside the spoon. And then there's the messy bit. Are you ready, Olive? You going to help me? Oh, you're up for this, aren't you? You're up for this part. Right, so we get our PVA glue. Hopefully this one's not dried up. That'll be a nightmare. And we put a little bit, oh, here we go, on the spoon. Hang on, let me show you everyone. Here we go, a little bit on let the spoon. Let me show Jacob. Go on. See that, Jacob? See that, Jacob? So put a little bit on the spoon. Ooh. Then we put that bit of paper on that bit. Put it on. Good job. Put it on the paper. Make sure plenty of glue. There we go, that's good. That's all right, no, that's great. So then we have it on there. And then with the glue, we put over the top, like that. Some more glue. Let me show Jacob again. Some more glue, show him. See, Jacob? Now this, earlier on I said this is why we do it with pencils and not pens, is because if we do it with pen, the glue will make the picture go all like all over the place and horrible, won't it, Olive? Yeah, because I don't that I'm nursery and it come up. Remember what happened to your nursery book? And we we put some pictures in when glue, PVA ruined them, didn't it? Mm. So then we spread that over the top. No, I'll not do that. Yeah, I'll do this bit, it's a bit messy. But you can get your fingers in. Because no, I was in not the school. I wanna don't don't lean on the table, mate. Don't lean don't lean on the table. You actually lean on it now. Oh, there's no, seriously, mate. Oh, 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 one of my pens are down there. Don't worry, we'll get that in a second. Okay. okay. <laughs> and then that yeah. makes a protective layer. So you let that dry out the on one. the windowsill. Don't let it dry out on the sun, in the sunshine. Let it dry out just on its own on the windowsill, somewhere nice and shady. Mm -hmm. And that will put, put a nice protective layer over that. Can I just say something to Jacob? Hang on, wait a sec. And then you can put that into the soil. Can I have a little bit And then that will be a great little seed marker right for really you. Don't do that, mate. I want to have a little bit of it. We can do that afterwards, after the show. Please. Absolutely, after the show. I need you to do some painting for me now. Do you want to do some painting? Yeah! Knew it. Don't leave on the table, mate. Cool, nice one. <laughs> Where's the paint? Right, I'm going to do it. Come around here. No, I, right I'll do it. Print, come over. Right yeah, I'm going to bring it. So, Jacob, those... Jacob, oh. do you like paint? Don't leave on the table, mate. <laughs> Jacob probably likes paint. Well, here's a weird catchphrase he's got. Don't leave on the table, mate. Right. So that is the second thing we're doing. Let's probably quickly... Jacob likes pain. Yeah, probably. Let's read uh, some of the comments on this that people are saying. I liked pain years ago. Yeah, you love paint, didn't you? Yeah. So, uh, Stuart said, great mate, we'll do this in school. Who's Lynn said, come Stuart? on, Jacob, cool. He Who's... did. Don't let me tell, mate. Um, Sean said, we need some T-shirts with don't <laughs> lean on the table <laughs> on them. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Stuart's... Then we need a crowdfund. Uh, crowdfund. That's for a stronger table, definitely. Um, I will give 50p for the crowdfund. Thanks, uh, Stuart. I hope. Uh, I hope you, Jacob, has a stronger table. Thank you. The new Carol Klein. Do you want to be Carol Klein? Who's Carol Klein? She's a lovely lady. Uh, Abby said. Do you recommend an online seeds supply for tomatoes? I forgot to buy some and obviously avoid in supermarkets. Um, do you know what? I use uh, T&M, Thompson Morgan, because they're local to me and they've helped me out loads of times. There's loads of seed supplies. Try and, try and go local is what I'm, I'm trying to say. Try and go local to wherever you are in the country. Um, hey, but T&M... Well done. T&M is only up the road for me, so that's why I use them. But obviously, yeah, online seed suppliers... Uh, the best place to go but also I had this conversation the other day just ask ask your neighbours like at the moment loads of people are out in their gardens just ask your neighbours and see if anyone I'll just go and see any neighbours just ask your neighbours if anyone's got any tomato seeds or any seeds at all because if you've got some gardeners along your road or along your row of gardens you're bound to have um, nobody they're bound to have 
some extra seeds. So don't leave on the table, mate. Well, they're bound to have some extra. I think she's just doing it now to wind me up. Some extra seeds that they they want to give away or get rid of. So before Dad, you go, I come up um, some penguin on the floor. Okay, we'll sort that afterwards. Um, before you go, yes, online seeds are players. Oh, no. Yes, online seeds players. Where do you want now? Oh, not at the moment. Ah, oh, fantastic. Um, but before that, just ask about. That's what it's about. A community bringing people together. That is what it is all about. Right, shall we do... Painting. Don't leave on the table, the mate. The painting, the painting. <laughs> I'm getting a, I'm getting a, a t-shirt. Are you ready? ready for painting? So, we've done the first two makes. We've got through it, peeps. We've got through it. Now we are doing the third one. Now, this is a little bit more... Are you leaving on the table? No. No one leads on the table that's doing this, right? A little bit more involved, a few more bits. Now, hopefully you've got some of these in your garden. If not, again, ask about. There'll be some neighbours, you only need a couple. Some stones like this. Now, I did buy these stones. You can get them from the beach when we can go to the beaches. Or you could get some out of your garden. Yeah. Like... But people around are bound to have some of these. Like this one? Yep. Yeah. Um, stones. So... I've got loads of stones here, Rose. I'll get one more. Should we get one more? So what we're going to create are stone markers, okay? Again, this is really quick, what we're doing. I'm flying through these, so you'll spend, hopefully, a little bit more time in each one. Uh, Jacob, I found a big one. Talking a little bit more about um, the plants, what we're growing, how we're growing it. It's all part get of the education more. of it. So you won't fly through in an hour all these different makes. You need to pick one of these makes, whatever you've got going about. But at least we're giving three no, different options, Jacob. everybody. Well, there's enough stones, babe. No, right. no, snowman. Now, here we go. Snowman. So we. No, snowman. Well done. Snowman. We only need one of them for now, Oz. Only one for now for this bit of the show. The so which one. one do you want to do? The big one. The big one, right? Put the little ones back for me. Mm. Put them ones back. And I'll leave the big one here. Open it up. No, put them back in the thing first. <laughs> so we are using what we've got just around the house. And I got these paints um, for literally a, about a quid. So you, you can imagine what I've got them there. from. Yeah, no, there's, there's all the paints. So, What's the paints. Paint? I'm actually, I'm going to do one as well. Olive, sit down, that's varnish. We'll come to that in a second. That's the extreme level. I'll do one as well. But Olive is going to paint hers up. So, Olive. If you've got some paint around, it doesn't matter what sort of paint it is. This one is not amazing that we've got, but we're using the best we can. Please, darling, don't get any of this on your clothes because I will be in trouble. Make sure you're wearing old clothes, everybody. These are not old clothes. You can call in like Jacob did, can't they? Yep. Do you know what the number is? Any... What? Do you know what the phone number is? Who? For people to call in. Uh, there were five there were seven seven eight eight eight. Oh seven four two three five seven four five two zero. Right, so we've got some blue Gross. and some red. What one what colours are you gonna use? All of them? Yeah. So we are gonna paint up the paint already. Go for it, mate. Our stones. Now this paint we're just covering the the stones with, so show everyone. But if you've got a smaller brush and some better paint, you should be able to draw or paint on there, either like a carrot or a pumpkin or whatever you're growing. We've done that before. Let me just show one. I'm going to show him a, a, here's one we made earlier in a minute. They're, they're, they're here. I've got a, I'll go and get one. Go on then. Um, but you can paint on there. Now, another option is, and what this is what I'm going to do, is literally just draw... Onto your stone. So if you've only got pens and you manage to get a stone, wicked, you can still do this by drawing what you want on your stone, like a carrot. Where's Olive gone? I don't know where she's gone. So draw what you want on the carrot. I'll colour this in. Olive's going to come back. Well done, mate. Right, we'll show him in a minute. Right, do them in a second. Just don't don't well, uh, don't give away the. You draw any carrot? Yeah, I'm drawing. I'm giving two options. What? Why? <laughs> Why? I got a carrot. So look, I'm coming. Well, how did you know I was getting a carrot? I didn't. That's absolute luck, isn't it? So Olive's painting hers. I'm colouring mine in. 
And again, this is a really simple and easy way we can do stuff. That's a really good picture of a carrot. Do you like a carrot picture? How do you, how do you make it into a different colour? Um, you just dip it in for the for the purpose of live streaming. Obviously, yeah, we or just what? Yeah. Just... Obviously, you'd have a pot of water usually, wouldn't you? Yeah, probably. Yeah. So we've got a carrot. We well, just wipe it on here. Right here. Just wipe, wipe it on, on there. there. Well done. And you cut paint that in. Um, Olive. Richard said you're cheering him up this morning. Just what he needed. Oh, guess who else is watching, Olive? Who? Arnie and Michelle, Olive, you are so funny. Poor Daddy, you're taking over. Oh. Not taking, not taking over at all. Oh yeah. Hmm. So, once again, really good one, especially if you're painting, even if you're drawing. And then, and the next option is now. Obviously, with paints like this, when it rains, that's just going to wash away, just wash off. Um, you might be lucky with pens, but it might just fade a little bit. But what you can do is, if you've got any in the shed, or again, ask around neighbours, there should be, just ask across the wow. fence. Say, oh, excuse me, mate, you ain't got any varnish, have you? Wood varnish, this is yacht varnish that I got. This was a pound again, really cheap. Pound? Just a quid. Pound for this. So we oh. spent about two quid on this. Oh. It's not bad, is it? No. Even if you don't do pen, if you've just got pens, basically spending a pound on markers, isn't you, if you get the stones. And all you do, I'm not going to do it right now, is you put a nice lacquer, lacquer, do you know that word, Olive? What's that? No. Lacquer. It's like a, I don't really know what the word is, but you just sort of put it all over the stone. Let it dry, and then that will protect your picture. That will protect your picture. Um, I've just seen, right, hang on a second. Yeah. You need a jingle for your phone number. <laughs> Who said that? Uh, Lisa said that. We'll have we'll sort a jingle out tomorrow. What's a jingle? We can definitely sort that, can't we? A jingle is like, oh, I'll do one now. Oh seven four two three five seven four five two zero. Oh. Do you like that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Michelle says, yeah, uh, Olive. Only time, only tune in to watch Olive. Said Ian. What about this? Got that. Thanks, Ian. Thanks, mate. Paint on me. No, the yellow's not so good in this paint, not. So don't worry. So, uh, a nice layer of this on it. Let it dry out, and what you end up with is where's that one gone? Here you go. So we've not actually done the back of this one, but we have done the front, and that just protects the picture. There's one Olive did with some proper paint. Did you actually, Olive? Did you do that of this paint we're using? No, you can't. Of it must be another paint. There's a carrot that Olive did. And that goes just exactly where our, our carrots are. Really fun. Gets the kids, exactly what we were talking about yesterday, mm. owning that area of the garden. That's their carrots they're growing. That's exactly what they're doing. And, uh, yeah, brilliant, eh, Olive? Mm. What is going on? Let me just show everyone what you're doing. Hang on. Do you want to do the other side as well? Yeah. I'm not finished yet. All right, so this is Olive's what she's doing at the moment. I'm not finished, so now I need to paint the bottom. Right, you paint the bottom. Uh, another cool thing, uh, away from um, using these as markers, is we did do a little thing not long ago. What did we do that for? That, for a magazine, was it for? That. I can't remember what magazine it was for. We did it for something anyway, which was um, making like fairy houses out of them. This is Olive's one. Just use a black marker pen. Bit of paint. That's Olive's fit. Mine's better. Yeah, this is turning to brown. Okay, you don't want to. You can mix the paint up. Mix the paint up. So yeah, there's three different things there, everyone, that you can get involved with, make happen, and um, and just get the kids thinking about garden because it's really it is a difficult thing to do to get children excited when a seed goes into the soil. Olive, what, when you put a seed into the soil, how quickly do you think that it's going to grow? You don't know, do you? No. You have to wait and see. Like our wildflower seeds that we did not long ago, what's happened to them since we did them a week ago? Um, don't know. Well, what's happened down that little bit? Has any wildflowers popped up yet? No. Exactly. It takes time, doesn't it? It takes time to grow. But good things come to those who wait, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. You're really concentrating on them, aren't you? Yeah. Um, can you turn it out the back? Wait, hang on a second. Wait a sec. 
Right, there you go, okay? Just... Right, you've got more my my finger than anything. I keep it like that. Alright, no touch them. So, there we go. We have got... We did that pretty quick, Olive, didn't we? Yeah. We were pretty good at that. Um, it's like we've done this before. I think I've made orange. Huh? I think I'm making brown orange. You are making a brownie orange tinge to the, no. the stone. You meant to be you meant to be painting a, a vegetable or something. So I am making a vegetable. What vegetable is that gonna be? Tomato. Good good answer. Uh you can call in, get involved for the last twenty minutes. Uh we're doing loads more things. Do you like these more than the other two? Do you think us actually physically doing in like real time almost, but we've got to get through a lot. Is that power? I don't know. We've got tomorrow we're doing wildlife olive. Do you like wildlife? Yeah. Yeah, you like wildlife? I've got some paint on my hand. Are you right? What's it's up? Just got on my hand. Oh, what's happened? Are you gonna get oh you right? A bit of paint. It's gonna get messy, isn't it? It's a messy one. Are you right? Just wipe it away, mate. Wipe it away. Um tomorrow we're doing wildlife and then on Friday, Olive, mm. we are doing what are we doing Friday? Don't know. Did I say we were gonna do um, Carpool Castle. Yeah, I think so. Do some fun ideas because we've done a lot of grow your own to start the week with, and um, it's coming up to the weekend. So Friday, we're talking about fun stuff. We're talking about uh, the Carpool Castle, especially at the moment. If you've got some big boxes, keep hold of them for Friday's show. Keep hold of them, and also if you've got some batten wood. And Jacob. Oh, can you just pass me that bit of wood over there? Quick, you go and grab Jacob. it. Jacob. And Jacob, stay on for Friday because it will be fun. Yeah, you're looking forward to that, won't you? Yeah, that bit will do, Olive. Just that bit will be fine. So if you've got yeah, some, dog bark. if you've got some long dog bits bark. of wood about that size or bigger, is absolutely fine. But it's a little bit more extreme in that sense. Um, then keep hold of them. We're going to use them pieces on Friday and tomorrow. Uh, like I say, we're going to do wildlife because wildlife's massively important in the garden. Especially uh, with Grow Your Own, I think. They sort of come hand in hand, which is really nice. Because hedgehogs, what the hedgehogs get rid of, Olive? Wildlife. Hedgehogs don't get rid of wildlife. Yeah. They get rid of slugs. Oh. And what do slugs eat? Don't know. Plants. Yeah. We don't want them to eat our plants, do we? No. No? I've seen, I think I've seen a slug eat a plant before. Have you? They're always out at night time, aren't they? I've seen it at Nanny Donna's. Really? When I was having a sleepover, I went outside, yeah. and then I saw a slug eating a daisy, I think. Eating a daisy? Yeah. Olive, how have you got paint in your hair? Lucky I'm not in bath tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, for the last 15 minutes, uh, you can call in, we can chat, and uh, you can get involved. I didn't expect to go through them so quickly, Olive. We did well, didn't we? So, we're going to leave this. No, I'm not. I'm Careful, finished. you got a bit of paint there. What are you doing now? you finished? Yeah. What are you I doing? I just want to paint on this. Can you paint me another stone? Is that all right? No, can I just paint on this now? Okay, yeah. That's cool. Go and get some more paper. Go and grab some paper no, and you can no, do no, like no. a painting. Where's the paper from? Um, go down to my office. You, you know where it is. On the shelf. Yeah, okay. Okay. Bye. Um, so, yeah. How much is Olive earning? She's doing... <laughs> presenting <laughs> an act as a runner for you. Um, I mean, unfortunately, Ian, she's under a very tight contract um, with her agent, uh, which means that she doesn't get any monies until she turns 18, which is a shame. I mean, I wouldn't have signed the contract, um, but I even wrote it. So there you go. It's a harsh world. Entertainment world is a harsh world. It's a big lesson. It's a big lesson for her. <laughs> Thank you so much. You guys are wicked. Um, yeah, you guys. What is that? What is that? Is that my tick list? Oh, the tick list. Okay, bring it along. Just quickly, we'll do a little bonus thing. What we've been doing, Olive, right? So a little bonus game because you know we're all at home. Um, and, we and we're locked in. We're locked in. We are trying to make it as fun as possible. One of the things we've also been doing is a little game, a little bonus. This is a bonus thing for you. Is a nature hunt game. Yeah. So, Olive, shall we do it now? Do you want to quickly do it? Yeah. 
Right, okay, so. Long grass. Can you come find me a bit of long grass? Okay. It's a really great one. If you're doing something in the garden and you still want to like make it educational, get the kids running around looking for stuff. If you write a bit of a list for them, a little tick list. It's a really cool one. So she'll go and look for a bit of long grass. We'll go through the list. Means that she won't be leaning on the table, which is the best thing. Uh, if you've got any other questions, one call today from Jacob. Quiet on the phones today. Quiet on the phone. Hello? Here we go. Long bit of grass coming in, everyone. Nice one. This is a live game. We should have left this till till Friday, this game. Yeah, and can I just... Where's the paper? It's a cool what? little game. We'll do it on Friday, okay? So if you want to do that... But can I still paint on this? Now? Yeah, you can paint on that, definitely. Okay, get that off Really then. cool little game. Let me get this out of the way, hang on. I'll do it down there. I'll do it down there then, alright. But try not to get paint on the floor. Don't worry about getting a bit of paint on the floor because it will wash away. This paint will wash away. It's um, washable. Do you want me to put, put the pots down there for you? Yeah. I'll put them there for you. Put them on the floor. No, yeah. because you're going to get... To get them. Yeah. There we go. Sorted. So yeah, so important. That's the biggest thing today we're talking about. So, so important to label up your seeds. Olive, do you remember them really little pumpkins that we had? Yeah. And they never got any bigger, did they? Oh, we want to grow some giant pumpkins. What's everyone on the group? What's everyone listening? Because you can listen to this if if you wish. You can listen to this on the podcast later on. You can watch it on YouTube. You can rewatch it on here. Uh, I'd love if you shared it. That'd be wicked. It means more people will be labelling up their plants, which is so important. Um, but what has everyone been sowing? If you watched the Monday episode, we were talking about sowing seeds. Uh, hopefully some of you grew or have started sowing some seeds at the start of the week. Now's the time to do it. Got some beautiful sunshine. I'd love to know who's been sowing what. Well, Dad, we need sun cream on our... Oh, well done, Olive. We did talk about it at the start of the show, sun cream. It's important, isn't it? Yeah. Important. Mummy says we need some sun cream today. Yeah, we do. Daddy needs to remember sun cream as well, doesn't he? Yeah. We're blessed with some awesome weather. For this time of year, I'm sure it was snowing this time last year, wasn't it? Was what? it snowing last time last year? Yeah, in summer. Not in summer, was it? It wasn't snowing in Christmas. In, in Christmas. In Christmas. It doesn't snow at Christmas anymore, does it? No. No, I know. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys have been doing. We got some great pictures. <coughs> you alright? Yeah. Be careful. Some great pictures coming yesterday. We did that bottle, the wool strawberry bottle thing on the stream and then I got a photo sent to me now I'm really sorry I can't remember maybe someone watching will be able to remind me we got a great picture sent to me that someone made these um, out of orange cartons made them as planters I thought it was a great idea they made about six or seven of them which is wicked um, so yeah it's great to see your pictures everyone see what you've been up to Near from you, do you know what I mean? Share your ideas. That's what it's about, and it's sharing your ideas. Okay. Sharing and caring, Olive, well done. Uh sharing your ideas and uh yeah, that's what it's all about. So if you come on here, if you come and say hello, then please share what you've been up to. Share your ideas of what you've been up to with the kids. Lisa says, sweet corn yesterday, try every year and it's never amazing, but get the odd cobs. Plant and loads to get better pollination. That's the biggest thing with sweet corn, planting planting them next to each other in a bit of a row, quite a few, because when it winds, when it winds, when it's windy, yeah. creates pollination. Oh. You alright? Yeah, you feel what? Yeah. Well, take your coat off. Okay. You alright? You're feeling a bit, oh, it is warm today. Off. Can I take it off for you? Yeah. Come here then, careful. Oh, 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 oh. Don't get any paint on this coat. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm doing this. Oh, you got a jumper on as well. That might be why you're a bit warm. Oh, your hand's stuck. Oh, oh it's actually stuck. Oh, okay, here we go. Pull. Pull your arm out. Pull. Oh, there we go. Oh, I might have right? some paint on this. All right, hang on. All right, take, don't worry. Pull. All right, good. Live. We are live. Uh, yes, yeah, a sweet corn. Yeah. Um, plant them together. Creates pollination when they like the wind does it. Their thing. It's not exactly the movement they make, but jazzes it up a little bit, doesn't it? 
Uh, but Sweetcorn, yeah, 